Come on in! Come on in, you know you're welcome here. As ship's chaplain, I want you to know that I am praying for you each and every day of this adventure. We are in this together. I hope you're enjoying the voyage so far. Still, if you are new to our Narnian story, you may want to check out one or more of our past Vacation Bible School virtual editions and content on YouTube. Our channel is Historic Holy Trinity Church of Covina. Last year's VBS adventure was called Aslan is on the Move and can be found there under the VBS playlist. You can also catch up on the overall story by watching Something for Kids, which is also found on our YouTube channel under Children's Ministry. I hope you have your passport stamped and have your activity book, craft bag, and that you're wearing your VBS t-shirt so we can begin. If you need to pause the video and get your t-shirt on, please do it now. I'll wait a moment so you can put it on. We had a narrow escape the other day from a giant, giant sea serpent that wrapped its tendrils around the ship. We were lucky that it didn't crush the hull, but the Dawn Treader is a sturdy ship, think Aslan, and we're all right. Well, our adventure continues. From the information that we have from Eustace, we have located Lord Octasian. Sad bit that was, but onward and upward, as been told by Reepicheep. The next island we came across, we eventually decided to call it Deathwater Island. Every minute on that island was dangerous. We went for a hike and discovered a pool of water in the valley. It looked so cool and lovely. When we sat down to rest beside the pool, we discovered the belongings of one of the missing Narnian lords, including his sword and chainmail shirt. We discovered the water in the pool turns everything in it to gold. This was enormously tempting. We thought we would be rich. But when we found a missing lord at the bottom of the pool, he looked like a solid gold statue. Caspian recognized the coat of mail and the emblem now made of gold and recognized him as Lord Restamar. May he rest in peace. If you're counting, we have found three of the lost lords of Narnia. We still have four to go. Next, we landed on an island where no people were visible, but there were clear signs of civilization. Short mowed lawns, a water pump, and a large two-story house. Lucy overhears some invisible people plotting to attack the Narnians on their way back to the shore. Strangely, instead of hearing footsteps when they move, Lucy hears large thumps and sees clouds of dust rise. Poof! And dust. Poof! And more dust! Caspian, invisible people are planning to attack us. We have to protect ourselves. The ship's crew is ready for a fight, and they are met by the invisible duffers, a tribe of rather foolish people who agree with everything is equally foolish. 
the chief says. The chief explained that the island was ruled by a magician who made them ugly in retaliation. They made themselves invisible. However, the magician had disappeared and they had grown tired of invisibility. Only a young girl can go upstairs to the magician's house and reverse the spell. And they insist that Lucy must be the one to do this. They will slaughter the Nar Narnians. Lucy agrees. The duffers feed them dinner and everyone rests for the night. In the morning, Lucy goes upstairs to the magician's house. Overcoming her fear of this strange place, she reads through the big book. Reading the big book, she is tempted to use a spell to make herself beautiful. She resists when she sees Aslan's face appear on the page. Then Aslan introduces her to the magician Coriarkin and who has been vis made visible. They talk, talk about the duffers. Lucy begins to realize that the magician is kind and a thoughtful ruler, and the duffers are extremely foolish. Looking over her shoulder, out the window, she sees that the now visible duffers are monopods, one-footed dwarves. I see you. There's two of you. You're not ugly at all. I mean, a little silly, but certainly not ugly. Uh, you're King, visible again. King Caspian, the lords that you're looking for were here before in this island, but they went away long time ago. The, the duffel puds, as the people call themselves, say goodbye to King Caspian. Queen Lucy and the crew of the Dawn Treader. Thank you. They board the ship and sail on to the next adventure. And the Duffel Pugs will get along with the magician maybe just a little bit better. Hi, girls. Hi, boys. How are you? I have a special friend with me today. You might know him as... Roop. 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 <laughs> He's fun. And I love to have him when he visits. We're going to be making some boats today. In your packets, you will find a boat that is already cut out. Now this one says name on it, so you might want to write your name on there. Oh, I didn't give you a boat, did I? I didn't Here, mind. there's there's your boat. Okay. Okay. Now, what this boat is going to look like is this. Okay. I have already cut them out to make it easy for you. What you need to do first is fold all of these dotted lines. So go ahead and start making folds on yours. Every place you see dotted lines, just make a fold on there because we're going to have to do some glue. Now, I remembered all of my supplies this time. Hopefully, you have them too. You need glue for today's project. So if you don't have glue, you might want to go ahead and turn that off for just a minute, get some glue, and come back and join us. You can use any kind of glue you want. You could use a stapler, you could use scotch tape. Mm -hmm. I personally always like the tacky white glue. I know I always push that to you, but it's so easy to use. It works much better than the glue sticks or anything else. So this would be my choice. Now, if you have everything folded, let's start. And you just need a little bit of glue. If you put too much glue on there, then it's going to run all over the place and ooze all over. Now, see how fast that went together? That's why I like tacky glue. Now, there's two more spots that you need to put glue. You put two spots on the back and two spots on the front. And 
stick them together. Are you all ready to go? I do. Okay, how's your boat? Was that one easy peasy? Easy peasy. See, this one was my project. Now, Mr. Crazy, oh, excuse me, Rube. Rube. He's going to teach us how to do something that's really cool. Now, I have a couple of samples of what he is going to teach us. Some of you, now you don't need glue anymore. None of these require glue. They don't require scissors. They don't require anything, just a piece of paper. Now, what he used is recycled paper. You could use newspaper. You could use, um, if you have magazines, maybe that your mom is done reading and doesn't want anymore, then take a, one of the pages out of the magazine, and that would be very colorful. We're going to use just a sheet of paper. I'm going to use a yellow one. And the green one. And he has the green one. And, but what you do not want to do is do not get a paper that is square. That's how I made my mistake. Every time I tried to make this, it never worked because I used a square. It must be a rectangle. Am exactly. I right? Exactly. A rectangle. Okay. Now teach us what we need to do because okay. I don't know anymore. We are going to fold this paper exactly in half. Where the middle is. Exactly. Now we know where is the center. Yes? So we are going to do like a little triangles. It is. Okay. My first side I made into Look. the little triangle on this side. Yeah. And now going we're to going the center. to do the same thing on the other side. Is exactly. that correct? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Oh, right. So now, oops. It's good, thing. Good, good thing it's not, it's only paper. Okay, so this is what it looks like at this point. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Both sides going to the center, making a triangle. Now, we'll open the paper and we'll have two sides. So we are going to fold it like this. Where your triangles are. If you can make are. a close up, you can see it's exactly in the bottom of the folder paper. And we only did one side. The other side is still mm -hmm. straight down. One side. And then it's a little it's like corners. A little, it's like a little half. Oh, exactly. <laughs> So we'll push these little corners back. Oh, okay. Now this is the front side where we folded it up, like and this. this is the back side where we have two little triangles again on the back. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll fold this other side. Oh, now he's getting really tricky. This part that we didn't fold before. To the upside and up. Now we're going to fold that side so it matches. I'm, I'm telling you, it's looking more like a hat. And we're going to say, oh, the little triangles. Now the little triangles go inside. I guess I shouldn't be playing, huh? <laughs> My goodness <laughs> sakes. Okay, but I like, like the hat. It's a good idea. So, is like this. Now we'll open here the center. Can you see? Two push the two oh. points together. The big long points, we're gonna push them together. And we'll crease the paper. Make it flat. 
אחד, אתה בעצם שהוא כן. It's a good crease, you both. I love it. Okay. Now, come and push. Oh, it's alive. I told you. <laughs> it's desperate to go to the sea. Okay. Now, this is going up. Okay. We're going to take one side and fold it all the way up to make another big triangle. Another big triangle, exactly. Like this. Always to the other side. <laughs> now the other side. Exactly the same. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. It's a little puppet. Okay. Now we have two sides up. We open this and repeat the same. Oh. Like this. Oh, this is really getting confusing. Okay, now we don't have to fold anything. Just we open like a flower these two corners and we'll flat the inside. Okay, I go back. We are in this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Show to them how it is, the triangle. Okay. Now, we push. Oh, no, one second. No. We're like this. Okay. Open. See, open. it's not my fault that my boat doesn't open. Open this. Like this. Voila. Voila. The good ship. And he's ready oh. to go in the sea. Well done. Well done. Okay, now. Now, I, I just want to point out, he made one that has three little things inside of it. I couldn't even make it do one little thing inside of it by myself. So if this isn't easy for you, please tell me it's not just me. That was really interesting. I wish I could do it as well as you. You did? This well, is perfect. I, but, but that's because you were here to help me. Sometimes we just need to have a little extra help. So if you didn't get it the first time like I didn't get it, you might want to go back and start it all over again and see what Roop was doing and he'll take it step by step by step. Don't watch me because obviously I didn't do it as well. But he knows exactly what he's doing. I'm good at this. He's, so he's good. great at that. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Bye. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. This was fun. <laughs> oh, yes. That's such a good story. Wow. Mm. Oh, hello, come on in. Well, as you saw for yourself, Lucy saved the day with Aslan's help. She also learned an important lesson. Though we do not always see everything, we often make the wrong assumption. We prejudge. Um, another word for assumption, we can come to the wrong idea if we are too quick to judge. 
Lucy was also tempted to use the power she had at her hands for herself instead of for helping others. This usually leads to disaster and pain. Aslan, thankfully, stopped her in time, and to Lucy's credit, she listened to Aslan's direction. From the magician Coriarkin, we have a good idea that the four last lords may still be alive. Let's hope for the best. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord, you knit us together in our mother's womb, and we are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. Help us to see that your reflection can be found throughout all the worlds and even in our family and friends and neighbors. When it is hard to see, help us to imagine walking in another person's shoes. Give us empathy. Make us sensitive to the challenges and burdens other people often carry. Help us to lend a hand when we can and to fill our days with acts of kindness. Amen. Amen. Or at sea, for the saints of God are.